Canal is defined as an artificial structure constructed on the ground level to carry water from a river or reservoir for various purposes such as irrigation, power generation and navigation. Classification of Canal On the basis of permanency, permanent canal and temporary or inundation canal. Emacha, permanent canal. The canal which is fed by a permanent source of supply is known as permanent canal. It may be perennial canals which get their continuous supply from the source. In other words, the canal which is constructed with headwork is known as permanent canal. B Macha, temporary or inundation canal. The canal which is constructed without a headwork is known as temporary or inundation canal. It gets water only when water level in the source rises during high flood. On the basis of function, irrigation canal, navigation canal, power canal, and feeder canal. irrigation canal. The canal which carries water from the source to the agricultural land for the purpose of irrigation is called irrigation canal. B Masa navigation canal. The canal used for transportation of goods is called navigation canal. C Matsa power canal. The canal which supplies water from source to powerhouse for the generation of hydroelectricity. D Matsa feeder canal. The canal which is constructed only to feed another canal is called feeder canal. Also on the basis of discharge. Main canal, branch canal, distributary canal, field canal. Ema main canal. The main canal carries discharge directly from the river, therefore it carries large supply of water and cannot be used for direct irrigation. The main canal carries discharge greater than 30 cumic. Bimacha branch canal. The branch canal are taken either side of main canal at suitable points so that whole command area can be covered by the network. The discharge varies from 2.5 to 30 cumic. Simasa distributary canal. These canals are take off from the branch canal having discharge less than 2.5 cumex. These canals are used for direct irrigation to the land. Dimacha field channels. These channels are taken from the distributary canal by cultivators to supply the water to their own land. It has minimum discharge which is maintained by cultivators. Arkucha on the basis of soil type, alluvial canal and non-alluvial canal. Emacha alluvial canal. The soil which is formed by the continuous deposition of silt is called alluvial soil. And the canal constructed on such soil is known as alluvial canal. Bimacha non-alluvial canal. The soil which is formed by the continuous disintegration of rock is known as non-alluvial soil. And the canal constructed on such soil is called non-alluvial canal. On the basis of alignment, watershed or ridge canal, side slope canal, and contour canal. Emacha, watershed or ridge canal. The dividing line between the catchment area of two drains is called watershed. As far as possible, a canal should be aligned on a ridge line or watershed so that it can irrigate on both sides of the ridge by gravity flow, and therefore it has high command area. Bimacha side slope canal. The canal constructed at roughly right angles to the contour lines is called side slope canal. Simacha contour canal. The contour canal is aligned parallel to the contour line. It can irrigate only one side of canal having lower elevation by gravity flow. On the basis of season, perennial canal and non perennial canal. Also, canal losses. During the conveyance of water from head of main canal to the head of field channel, a considerable amount of water is lost due to evaporation and seepage. Emacha evaporation loss. The loss of water due to vaporization from the surface of water is called evaporation loss. The evaporation loss is very small as compared to the total loss of canal. 
it is only 1 to 2 percent of total loss it may be due to following reasons temperature of atmosphere exposed surface of canal and wind velocity b matcha seepage loss seepage is the main cause of water loss in canal about 90 to 95 percent losses occurs due to seepage or percolation seepage loss depends upon the following factors permeability of soil drainage condition level of groundwater table velocity of water lining of canal canal regulation cross section of canal measurement of canal losses the canal losses can be measured by following two ways direct measurement and indirect or theoretical method a matcha direct measurement inflow and outflow method it is a very simple method consist in measuring the quantity of water entering a certain part and the quantity of water going out from that part or section the difference gives the amount of water loss in canal due to evaporation and seepage the discharge can be measured by current meter or venturi meter it is necessary to maintain constant water level during measurement. Pondes method. This method involves isolation of canal section by means of temporary bond. The enclosed area is fed with water and the decrease in the volume of water over certain time period is noted. It is used to calculate the water loss in the canal section. The canal cannot be used during the measurement. B matcha indirect method or theoretical method. In theoretical method, Darcy's law is used to calculate the total water loss in canal. Q equals to K I A, where K equals to coefficient of permeability or absorption loss, A equals to cross section area, Q equals to discharge, I equals to hydraulic gradient. Control of canal losses. The following factors should be considered to control the canal losses. Lining of canal, selection of efficient section that is avoiding canal alignment in filling, construction of good hydraulic structures, use of closed conduits, canal lining. The process of covering the natural surface of canal by a suitable material such as concrete, brick, bitumen or asphalt etc. is called canal lining. Advantages of canal lining Seepage control Prevention of water logging Uncontrolled seepage through unlined canal rises the water table in the surrounding field up to or near the ground level which may cause water logging Increase the canal capacity The capacity of chosen canal section can be increased by lining it The lining presents the smooth surface and it increases the rate of flow of water the water therefore flows faster and can carry more water per second. Increase the commanded area. Reduction in maintenance cost and time. Reduction of unwanted grass growth in the canal. Better operation and maintenance. Disadvantages of canal lining. Construction cost of canal is high. It is time consuming task. Plantation is not possible surrounding the canal. Dryness of soil is increased surrounding the canal.